destroying and created all. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pocket pod, all the little shorts, boys, and beyond. So, are you willing to ask for what you want? Are you willing to ask other people for what you want? Anywhere you have decided asking is wrong or bad or unkind to your family, will you destroy and uncreate that? Yes. yes. Thank you. Pray for mom, good and bad, pop and pot, all night shirts, boys and young. I'm Blossom Benedict and I just spent the morning over at Touching Lives doing a workshop for the kids there. Uh, we did some activities for Right Voice for You and some tools from Access Consciousness and just really grateful to get to spend time with them. Um, the work they're doing over there is really amazing. Um, I was really struck by the kids, their curiosity, their questions. Um, also by the caring they have for themselves, by their cleanliness, by their respect for each other. Um, you know, if I had walked into that organization knowing nothing about those kids, I would have had no idea where they come from and, and the challenges they may be facing. Um, they are truly interested in creating more in their lives and, and that is what is being created there. So. I loved working with them, and it really, in the end, I get it wasn't about what I had to offer, but really more about um, me just seeing who they are. I said I'd love to come back and not necessarily do a workshop, maybe just watch them, ask them questions, see how the teachers work. You know, tell something really um, extraordinary and different is going on there, and I'd like to know more about that. Will you come up here for a minute with me? Yes. All right, so, what is your name? Pavitra. Pavitra? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, if you are going to be a professional dancer, what energy would you have to be? Would you have to be confident? Yes. Would you have to have the whole world be, would you have to be willing for everyone to love you? To be totally adored, okay? So to be a star, the biggest thing you have to be willing to do is to receive. So what receive means is you don't, you don't take it in and make it true. So we don't go, oh no, I'm a terrible dancer. They think I'm a terrible dancer. We don't agree with it. We don't push it away. We don't go, I don't care what you think. You're wrong. I'm a good dancer. We just, we just let their opinion exist. It's just a point of view that exists in the world, okay? So we are all going to pretend that you just danced for us. And you are fabulous. You are amazing. She had danced together a bit. Okay? So we're just going to clap for you. Okay? She sort of went like this, right? Her hands came up and she backed away from us. So it's a little bit embarrassed, right? So sometimes when people clap, we do that. We go, no, you shouldn't really clap for me. You don't know what you're talking about. So that is actually not how a star dancer would receive applause, right? So um, this time we're going to clap again. Okay? And I want you to just look at the different people in the audience, and your job is to be grateful for them. But you're going to say, in your head, thank you, thank you for watching me dance. Thank you for clapping for me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, okay? In your head, I want you to be the energy of gratitude for each and every one of them, okay? Yeah. So, what, so tell me what energy is up for you right now. Um, what's going on in your head right now? Happiness. Happiness. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So everything that doesn't allow you to receive our gratitude for you totally, we destroy and create all that. Right and wrong, good and bad, popping pot, online shorts, boys and yeah. So we're so um, yeah. Let's just keep your hands down here. 
And we're going to clap for you again. And again, I want you to just look at the different people and go, thank you. Thank you for clapping. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching me dance. Thank you for being my fan. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and clap. If she is confident like that when we applaud, we think, we remember her dance as better. So we're going to do one last time. Okay. And I want you to pretend you have, you have 10,000 people watching you dance now. Okay? 10,000 people. So huge audience. And you are the star dancer they were waiting to see. Okay? So when you're done dancing, they expect you to receive and just be grateful. Have you ever watched a big concert? When somebody, but when, when they go to bow, they step out, right? So if you were already a star dancer, what energy would you be when we clap for you? So we're going to clap for you one more time, and I want you to just step out like this, and I want you to put your arms out and just stand here and just do the just gratitude thing. thing. We're just going to ask you to step into that energy and be grateful. Just receive all of our applause one more time, okay? All right. She wants to be a dancer and just a little exercise and actually stepping out, being seen, um, creating from a bigger energy. And you could see that she could choose to be a star if she'd like. Uh, those kids really have infinite choice and that was really apparent being there. They could create anything and I think they're being given the tools to really do that. So I think what really struck me today was actually a conversation I had with Sonia at the beginning of the day when she was just explaining the, the values and the principles that Touching Life is based upon um, and the lack of judgment that is in that environment. I truly see that as being the energy that will create the most change in the world. You know, when she explained they're not against anything, um, you can really feel that energy palpable there. and. I just think it's really beautiful what they're doing. Um, again, it's like if these kids can create anything in their lives, it also makes me realize what more can I create? I think I left there asking some different questions myself. Um, and yeah, it was just a, a joy to spend time with them. So if I could give any message to the kids, I would just like them to know that their voice matters, that what they say and who they are matters, and truly that they can create anything that they desire in their lives. There is no one in that room that I saw who would be limited um, to anything less than what, than what they can dream of. And I see that Touching Lives is making it more possible for them to achieve that, but, but please, to those children, I just tell them, nothing that you have been told you can't do is true or real. Please keep asking questions, keep reaching for your dreams, um, ask for help. 
what else is possible, um, but truly what you have to offer is special in the world, and, and be more of that.